You know one of my favorite things when having conversations, especially educational conversations about engineering, and I know that you guys and gals out there watching right now will appreciate this as well, is the authenticity and transparency that comes from a guy like Chris in charge of IQ manufacturing when it comes to where a product can be used and where it might be able to help you as it's being utilized here at IQ Manufacturing. Today, Chris and I are talking Adaptix by Norgren. It is a flexible unit that is really great for a one-off job. But Chris, my friend Chris here, has a super nice analogy that I think you guys are gonna like as well. And he's gonna share where he's been utilizing it at IQ Manufacturing also. Chris, I appreciate you allowing us to be in here, share this story with MTDC and C, the audience as well. You've been utilizing Adaptix for a few months now. Where has it come into play in your shop? Best like short case use example would be when a part gets sent out and there's an engineering change or it comes back or maybe something needs to be altered and you've cut away supports or the fixturing that you had before is now gone and you don't know how you're gonna hold it. Well, the Adaptix gets you out a lot of jams. It's kind of the, uh, if you're a baseball fan, the analogy I like to use is the left-handed specialist. The guy comes in, he pitches against the best hitter on the other team in a really tough situation, and he only pitches the one guy, and then he's off, off the field and on the, in the dugout, and he's not doing it. You're not gonna have 100 of these things, but it is very important to have one of these. They've gotten us out of a lot of jams, it actually reduces a lot of labor because oftentimes when you have a part and you can't fixture, you're like cobbling together 10 different ways and indicating all different things to hold it. The Adaptix can help you with that. But you're not gonna tool up. It's not gonna replace your five axis vices. So like that's that's the real truth about it. It's got, a, it's got an important role, but it's not for every single CNC in the shop. You know, we have one here. We'll probably add another one down the road, but it's not a high volume thing. It's not a high, volume production thing, it's definitely a prototype use. Ones and twos, and when you get a part that's a little funky, particularly if you get castings or something that's provided you and you haven't, instead of having to like custom fixture all of that, you can just put it in the Adaptix and, and go. It's a great, it's a great tool.